it's getting cold again, which means it's antifreeze time. Time to winterize our RV. And this year we have a new RV, the Leisure Travel Vans okay. Wonder. And so as we winterize the Wonder, we thought we'd show you the process step by step. Come on along. It is the most beautiful weekend. It's Michigan, and the weather, I think, isn't it going to get up to 70 today? No, it's going to get closer to 80. This anyway, is, blue sky. And this is November. This is November, blue sky, and it is absolutely gorgeous. We're at the dog park right we're now. We're at the dog park, There's making Bo happy right now. But we're thinking we better winterize our vehicle. I always, when I winterize, it's always freezing out there. Uh, even though it feels more like summer, this would be a good day to do the winterizing. It's even kind of like putting up your holiday lights, Christmas lights, you know, do it when it's warm instead of waiting for it's cold or planting those bulbs or taking care of your yard. You're we got some to, good weather. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow. We could do the uh, outside decorations tomorrow and we'll winterize today. All right. Sounds, Sounds like a good. good plan. Before winterizing, I did stop at my local RV supply store and I picked up a couple of things, but I was basically interested in just this one. This is what is known as a blowout pug. And I'll show you how that works in just a moment. I also picked up some antifreeze while I was there. Let me uh, just make one point before we get going, that everything you're gonna see applies to that model RV. That is the uh, Lisa Travel Vans Wonder RTB or rear twin bed model. That's the one we have. Now the steps are similar no matter what kind of an RV you have, but the intricacies and the precise details all vary by RV model because things are located in different places on different models, right? That makes sense. All right, that said, let's start and winterize this puppy. Okay, first things first, I have uh, emptied the fresh water tanks, I have emptied the black tanks, and I have uh, dumped the, um, the gray water as well. Uh, I did that uh, before I brought the RV home. I did that at the uh, last uh, uh, boondocking campout we did. So uh, all the tanks should be empty, should be, but they never are. There's always water that uh, sort of stays inside the piping and in the plumbing system. So the first thing I want to do is uh, go uh, into the RV and I want to make sure that I have uh, turned on the water pump. And now it's a matter of coming into the RV and turning on all of the faucets. Now see? Even though those uh, tanks are empty, there's still water in those uh, in the plumbing system. Now it's slowly coming out, but I want all that water out of those lines because what happens is those little lines freeze up, and when they freeze up, uh, they can expand and then they can rupture, and you can be in a real problem. So you don't want any water to freeze out. Let's also do the hot water. Same thing in the uh, bathroom. Let's get all that water out. You can see there's quite a bit still in there. Coming out. You can hear the water pump working. Water still there trickling out. That's the hot water, right? Let's 
Same thing with the toilet. Another place you got to check is the shower. Now I suggest that you get a bucket because uh, these shower heads are always leaking. Uh, they always come through and you want to try and keep it as dry in there as you can. So we're going to try the same thing here. You want to get that water out of the shower and let it drain. No matter how many times you've winterized an RV before, always, always bring out the manual and open it up to the winterizing page and uh, do some serious uh, refreshing of your memory. Take a look at all of the instructions that are there and follow them just as they tell you. We're outside the coach now. We've got the uh, fresh water tank drained, right? We've uh, tried to get as much of the water that was in the lines out of the lines by turning on all the faucets. We're not done with that yet, but now it's time for the water heater, and that is really important. This is the, uh, the Truma AquaGrow system that we have, and it's a pretty simple procedure. First of all, make sure that the power's off. There's no light on, okay? Power's off, and then right here, this is, uh, this is where you're going to take out the filter and drain it. Now some water is going to come out, so I'm going to pop that out. Watch out now, here we go. Here comes the water, what little we're going to drain out of this thing. Wow, got quite a bit. Now you see I pulled that out. This is the water filter. And we will leave that out, we'll keep it in a in a dry place so we got all the water out this is really important if you did not do this it would really do serious damage to uh, the heater and uh, you don't want that you want hot water uh, so this is the filter I always inspect it to make sure there's nothing clogging it up it's pretty clean and when it's time to put in in the spring you'll just go back in like that but we'll leave it out for now All right, now we got one more piece of water line to get rid of, and that's right here, the outside shower. So that is uh, important. Turn on the pump, because I had turned it off. Okay, and now we want to make sure we get rid of all the water that's in here. Yeah, I didn't even use this thing, but there is water. So let's uh, get rid of it. Okay, that's pretty good. Turn that off for now, and we'll put that away. Next up will be this hose. You'll see this in a minute or two. Okay, I'm inside the RV, and uh, the first thing I want to do now is adjust the valves and turn the valves a certain way that they should be for winter for uh, the winterizing process so uh, for me that means I have to access uh, this car this is a waste basket I'll just put that out of the way for now so that I can get in there and here's where I got to go can you see in there there are some uh, some plugs let me put a flashlight on them some not some plugs there are some pipes back in here see these pipes and some valves and that is what I want to match up with the manual and turn. I have to close valves A, B, and E. One of the things they suggest you do is uh, run compressed air through your system to really clean out any water that might be stuck in there. Now I just removed the quick disconnect that I use for my hose when I'm hooked up to city water. And this is where I'm going to put this, this uh, blowout plug in. Basically, 
attaches right there. See? You just basically screw that in. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I don't have compressed air. A lot of people have a small home compressor, and I thought about getting one, but I've done this before on some of my other RVs, and I'm going to uh, try it on this one. Show you what, I, what I'm going to do to push a little air through the system. You see what this is? It's a bicycle pump. Now, I know for you people who have an air compressor, this sounds kind of crazy. But I have found there's really not that much water in those, uh, in those plumbing pipes. And just pushing a little bit of air with a bicycle pump will get whatever residual water is in there out. So I leave all of the, um, all of the faucets on and I'm going to attach this and pump away. All right. While Mike is busy outside, I'm getting ready inside. I'm going to take the strainer basket out. There's no reason to leave that in there for the winter. I'll wrap it up in something and put it in a secure place. Then I'm going to turn on the cold water and let it run until the antifreeze comes out. Then I will switch it over to the hot water and let it run until the antifreeze, the pink stuff, comes out there. Now comes the fun part. Uh, first thing is I have to turn this little switch down here to winterize. And now, let me show you what I'm going to do. i got my antifreeze and this hose, this handy little suction hose. This is pretty cool. So I'm going to put that in the antifreeze jug. Jennifer's inside the RV and she's going to watch it. Now watch the antifreeze go down as it gets sucked in through the plumbing system. Turn on the pump and there it goes. See it going down? Now Jennifer is turning on a couple of faucets in there and we'll see what happens. First, I'm going to turn on the cold until it turns pink. The, yes, the, it's pink. It's pink. Now I'm going to turn on the hot. It's pink. All right. Okay. okay next is the bathroom sink. Now, I'll do the same thing for this sink. Turn it on, I'm gonna wait for it to run pink. We got the water coming, come on, pink. All right, it's pink. And we can't forget the toilet. We've got pink. Now for the shower. Let's turn around. It is pink. We've got pink. Let's turn it the other way. That's it. All right, Jen's got pink in there. One more, remember, this outdoor um, hose, the outdoor shower. So we'll turn on, we'll turn on the uh, water here and we'll see if we can get some. We gotta get pink out of there. There it is, starting to get pink now. And we got pink. Pink coming out, it's all stopped. We are winterized. And guess how much it took? Look at that. I did two gallons. Two gallons of antifreeze, and the plumbing system in this RV is now antifreeze, it's run through it, the water's out, and I'm good till it warms up. This is something that we've learned from experience, to take a bag and put it on the shower head. You don't want it dripping and that pink and I freeze all over the place, so we just slip the shower head in the bag, pinch it around. That's great, and I've got some really cute duct tape, and I'm going to put that on there. And is this, is that, is that good or what? It's covered up, we don't have to worry about any drippage. 
And we have a, another task to do with a little bit of the antifreeze, and that is to put about a cup of it down every one of the traps where you have water. So just a, about a cup. And we'll do that in the shower, and we'll do that in the bath, and that way it's just a little bit extra. Now it's time to get some paper towels, and we're going to wipe out the sinks to make sure everything is good. Wipe that out, and we're going to close this out until spring, or until we go someplace warm. So this one, done. Good. Now we'll hit the bathroom. Not much in here. We'll wipe this out. Just going to set that in there. All right, wipe that out. Good. Next, the big one, the shower. The shower. In and not much here. Now there is one more step for those of you who have a macerator, like we do with our Wonder. Uh, and that means uh, emptying the black and gray tanks with all that antifreeze in it, running it through the macerator, and that'll keep the macerator from uh, freezing up. Uh, those of you who don't have a macerator, you don't have to do that step. We'll do ours, we'll take ours to an RV dump uh, before it gets cold, and uh, basically we're done. Now, in this video, we've shown you how we winterize our wonder. And I know everybody doesn't have exactly what we have, but hopefully we've given you the confidence to do this yourself, that you can do this. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thanks for watching this. And uh, would you do us a favor, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. And when you do that, click the bell icon, and then you'll be notified when we have new videos online. Bye-bye. Happy trails.